All right, so I got the uh, this one platform on the boat. I'm gonna mount me one of those little uh, bar tables on those two posts taken out of the uh, fishing pole holders. And uh, so if you guys get online, you're gonna see these tables range anywhere from, you know, your basic bait prep table for maybe 45 bucks up to 300. Um, you know, for the ones that are made to hold drinks and whatnot and got multiple layers to them. Uh, 300 some dollars, even 200 some dollars is a little extreme for that in my book. So what I've got here is a half inch piece of starboard that I got off of eBay. It's a half inch thick. It was 24 by 24. I got a friend of mine with a uh, table saw. And so I went over and basically just cut it in half. So this is 12 and then this is four. I've also got a couple of pieces that are four and four inches high to go here. I'm gonna slope those down uh, towards the front. And then I'm actually gonna put another shelf right around in here up about an inch from the bottom. And my reason for that is I'm gonna put some drink holders up here and uh, you know, your beer cans pushing around five inches. So I want about three inches of the can to be down in that hole and then that way uh you know i can slide paper plates all the way to the back underneath that shelf and so far i'm probably going to be about 50 bucks in i picked up some of these at a uh, home depot this is what i'm using to hold the bigger sections together I got some that are uh, just about an inch long for this stuff going down from the top or whatever. And uh, so I'm about 50 bucks in. 24 by 24, half inch thick, and it's smooth. I got the smooth stuff uh, because I'm planning to wrap it in some vinyl. Haven't decided if I wanna go with the wood grain look or if I wanna go with the same marble that I put inside of the cabin of the boat. That's to be determined. All right, all right, all right. Here's what I got so far. Made this shelf just out of the scrap that was left over from the 24 by 24 piece of starboard. And I decided to put uh, five different shot uh, glass holders and I made sure that uh, I had just enough clearance to get them in and out. Cause there's gonna be a top that goes on this and I'm gonna have, you know, uh, beer sitting right here and right here make the holes big enough that uh because the top's gonna come all the way out to this ledge right here it's five inches i believe from the back uh to uh these shot glasses i got these from uh specs and i used this uh stepper bit that i got from harbor freight uh i don't see where it says what size it is anyway it was the biggest one i had on the hand it uh, actually worked perfect And then uh, probably gonna put like one screw in the middle so I can kind of turn it just in case I need to. And then, uh, I mean, this is all just scraps that was left over. And then I'm gonna put a couple screws in this right here. Hold these, that way kind of keep things from trying to fall out, but not really hinder it and be in the way. And I'm also thinking about taking it all apart and wrapping it in that uh, marble vinyl that I got that I did inside the cabin of the boat and I've got it mounted to the wooden legs that go into the fishing rod holder coming along I think I got about probably just under 50 bucks on it so far and then I ordered a piece of uh, 3 8 uh, starboard to go over the top so I can do the cutouts uh, for the uh, drink holders. So probably end up with that, I don't know, 60 bucks just, probably under 70 for sure. All right, I'm gonna put the marble vinyl on the uh, boat table I'm making. And as I talked before, I'm gonna go with this ripple right here, I'm gonna go this way. And I just got it uh, taped on the sides about halfway down and on the bottom peel back a little bit of this wax 
so I'm going to take the paper behind it and fold it over and crease it really good. And then now I'm going to stick this on there. Now that that's stuck on there good, I'm take the sides. Probably just leave the stuff on the bottom for now. Doesn't really matter. Actually, I'm gonna take the stuff off on the bottom and make it easier to do it. Just got those squeegees down just like a soul. Technically, this isn't really much of a squeegee. It's plastic with the soft fabric on the tip. You could also put a sock on your hand and use that. That actually works uh, very well. If I didn't uh, got, if I wouldn't have got this little piece uh, with some of the vinyl that I bought. I would be just using my hand with a sock on it, so done it many times. That's actually how I did the uh, sides of my Razor 1000. I need to get it that hot. I'm 
I'm not a professional. <laughs> I've just wrapped a few things. Yeah, it's probably care for the corner more than anything, I suppose. Well, here's my attempt at it. thinking about cutting that. Maybe I still will. Or maybe I'll just lay it flat like that. I'll probably cut it with a razor. Try be careful not to get this too hot because you'll completely stretch it and mess it up like I did in the last corner. Yeah, yeah see, you just gotta make it look like shit, like a song. Yeah, you just get it hot, but not too hot enough, and then you pull on it, and what's up? It looks like shit. Like I said, not a professional. Ooh, I did that one a lot better. Okay. Live and learn. Well, I gotta get my knife. 